Although we have completed the Witch Queen campaign and Savathun is dead for now, some massive truths are being revealed in her throne world which bring up many questions. The Taken King will rise again, visiting other places beyond the solar system and secrets of the Witness. Today we are going to take a look at Savathun's Altar of Reflection to try and decipher what is a lie and what is truth. Welcome back, O oh honored guest. Surprised to hear from you. It was always a possibility that your cunning would defeat mine. That you would win and I would lose. And so I knew I would need a way to reach you even after death. To set the record straight. I couldn't live with so many mysteries still unsolved. In these hallways, my memory lives on. Here, I left you all the answers you crave. Bring your curiosities to me. Let me tell you some stories. In the throne world, we can visit the Altar of Reflection each week and experience memories from Savathun. Memories she left here through death to quote, reveal some truths. So what we're going to do is analyze some of these lines and try and explain what they mean. Just keep in mind a couple of things. First, one, this is Savathun and even though she's dead, that most likely won't stop her cunning nature from tricking the Guardians. And two, new dialogue is available each run, and I'm assuming new lines will unlock week after week, so this may be outdated as we learn more information. In the reflections, you can hear three different versions of the two truths, two lies at the moment, so let's play the first one. Let's play a game. Two lies, two truths. Osiris is dead. Savathun is dead. The Witness birthed the darkness. In the end, your destiny lies beyond this system. How provocative. Death, birth, and destiny, all in one riddle. So let's try and dive a little deeper into these. First, Osiris is dead. Given the information we received at the end of last season, Osiris is alive, just in a coma-like state and needs some rest. So unless he actually is dead or will die eventually, this seems to be a lie. After Saint-14 returned Osiris to your tower, my Techians verified his identity. Savathun upheld her end of the bargain. Osiris lives. Thank you, friend. Savathun is dead. For now, yes, her ghost is still alive so she could come back if we're not careful with her body and protecting that, but for now this seems to be true. The Witness births the darkness. We don't know all the information to fill in the puzzle that surrounds the Witness, but we do know Marasov says this. The Witness. Remember it. Remember that name. It is not darkness, but something that wears it like a cloak. It gives darkness a wicked shape. So the witness wears the cloak of the darkness, which makes it seem like it didn't create it, right? And then, in the end, your destiny lies beyond this system. This does seem likely, the only explanation I have for this is that Bungie stated for the first Destiny and Destiny 2, the first saga that is, they wanted to keep it within the solar system and tell the story here. So that makes it sound like once this light and dark saga is over, perhaps we move elsewhere to different planets and maybe even different solar systems. Here is the next set of truths and lies. Shall we play a game? Two lies, two truths. Mercury, Io, and Titan are in my care. The Witness returned Mars to your solar system. The power to move worlds will soon be yours. The Taken King will rise again. 
You guardians are so clever. Tell me, what is true? And what is false? Mercury, Io, and Titan are in my care. In the campaign, Ikora explains that the witness is responsible for the planet's disappearing. So, it's not the darkness that's responsible for the planet's mass abduction, but an entity behind it. The witness. So the pyramid ships arrived and the witness possibly took those four planets. Now, alternate dialogue in the memories tell us that Savathun brought Mars back with this power that she learned from Oryx's Tablet of Ruin and the Witness, the power to move planets in and out of reality. Why did Mars reappear? The Witness stole your planets and moons with a power from the deep. The power to move worlds from one place to another. So why has Mars returned while well, the others are still absent? This is the truth. I brought Mars back. I learned the secret of the deep, the power to move worlds, and I dragged Mars from its extra-dimensional prison. Why? As a gift. As a test. So given that, it would seem that Mercury, Io, and Titan are not in Savathun's care, meaning this is false. Keep in mind these are all based on opinion and could obviously change. Leave your own theories in the comments below. The Witness returned Mars to your solar system. As just explained, Savathun says she was the one who returned Mars, unless that itself is a lie. The Witness never took Mars. I did. The Witness wished to take it, yes, but I acted first. I wanted to protect it, just as I wanted to protect your Traveler. And when it was safe, I returned it to you. Luring us here for that ultimate plan, to find the Glaive, to enter her throne world and bring back those memories. So at the moment this appears to be false, but she also says this. This is the truth. It's simple. The witness was finished with it. Mars underwent a grueling autopsy, a post-mortem of its collapse. Data extracted, lessons learned. The witness spit it back, covered in incriminating fingerprints. The power to move worlds will soon be yours. Since Beyond Light, we've been tempted with the darkness. Stasis was the first step of that. We also know that the Traveler kind of realizes that we began using these dark powers. So, if the Traveler left in Lightfall or abandoned us somehow, would we turn to more powers of the dark? If we see that this power to move worlds could help us and maybe save the Traveler and our people, perhaps we'll take that up like we did Stasis. The Taken King will rise again. Oryx has been dead a while, but he could be brought back someday. To me, it seems unlikely lore-wise, I don't have all the answers. This is unless Bungie comes up with another explanation like the darkness resurrecting him, but this could also just be literally. We know that a Destiny 1 raid is returning this year like the Vault of Glass did last year, and it could be King's Fall. The only weird thing to me with that is I thought the raids were like a moment in time, meaning that when we got Vault of Glass last year, Atheon didn't invade or threaten us again. We were just experiencing that moment in time from the content in the past. So if Savathun states this about Oryx, the Taken King will rise and it does involve the return of King's Fall, perhaps there is some plot tied into it. Otherwise, this could just be false. You might also suggest the Taken King is referencing someone other than Oryx, like the Witness, the one who had the power to take before he did. And here are the last four. The Pyramid Blade is one key to defeating the Witness. The Witness seeks the final shape, and the final shape is nothing. The last city is not the last city. The Witness will build its army on Mars. This one's tricky. Let's see if you can crack. 
The pyramid blade is one key to defeating the darkness. This one could be true. The glaive is a powerful weapon that can alter time as we've seen with Ikora and that worm. So this one is possibly true. The children of the witness wage a war. It spans centuries and galaxies. They see the fall of thousands of civilizations, the silencing of millions of thoughts. In the mind of one of these warriors lives the memory of an ancient weapon, a blade that cuts with the shining edge of beautiful, terrible logic. Through a game of riddles, I steal this memory for myself. I make the weapon mine, but I do not keep it. I use it as a lure. The witness seeks the final shape, and the final shape is nothing. The witness seems evil when you first take a look at him or them, but his goal may just be that final shape. No light, no darkness. We've seen this in the final cutscene. Possibly true. You promise them life, but deliver only death, as you have for so many before. Enough. Enough death. Enough life. You have no pieces left to place. The game is over. The last city is not the last city. This one, to me, is kind of confusing. What is she talking about? The last city on Earth? The last city in general? We know there are other colonies and groups of humans elsewhere like Ephrodite's group out there in the system, so it's hard for me to decipher what this one means. And then lastly, the Witness will build its army on Mars. Given we can't see into the future with our glaive capabilities, you never know with this one. Savathun's insertion point was on Mars, so would Bungie have the Witness take over the same location to build an army there? I'm not sure about that. Anyway, Guardians, there you have it. The current two truths, two lies available at the Altar of Reflection in Sabathun's throne world. Let me know down below which ones you think are true and which ones are false. And if you'd like to see some other videos just like this one, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Evade, and I'll catch you, Guardians, in the next one.